Hello and welcome to the news where you aren't. A satirical news show about the world, society and politics by people who pretend to know about these things. I'm Claire Vorland. And I'm Kevin Rigmorell, bringing you the latest stories retrieved from bins, ironed out and presented as facts. Coming up tonight... Scotland decides to pack its bags and evict itself from the UK household following more Brexit shenanigans. Donald Trump plans to open up a new hotel and golf course on the moon. The Beatles' yellow submarine is to be repurposed as a Trident nuclear sub. And a Scottish tourist has been arrested on the steps of the Ministry of Defence for being ignorant and Scottish. All that and less here on the news where you aren't. Good evening. Insider reports suggest that Scotland has finally had enough of Brexit and is packing its bags. The news comes after Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, boldly declared on Sky News... This Brexit thing is just getting ridiculous and we can't be arsed with it. So we are closing up shop and we are all just moving out. Miss Sturgeon also notified the UK WhatsApp group that she was, and I quote, a bit... Peeved about the Brexit living conditions. We've contacted the landlord and he wants nothing to do with it. So we contacted his uncle and he said it's fine. So I, we're just going to pack our stuff and f off. Following these reports, families across Scotland were seen leaving their homes early this morning with overnight bags. We spoke to Toll Cross native Davy Riley about the move. Aye, Nicholas found us all a nice wee place just off Cumbria. We're all just going to squeeze in there for a bit. We might have to rough it. There are 5.4 million of us, but we're no taking the Tories or old people. It's their fault we're in this mess. The move comes after the news last week of Newcastle looking into plans to build a spaceship to escape, similar to Manchester, who were in the news on Wednesday for commissioning a moon base to avoid the cluster happening down here. Speaking of moon bases, US President Donald Trump has revealed plans to open up another brand new resort, on the moon. The news comes after Mr Trump announced through his official channel, Twitter, that he's planning on opening the Trump Intergalactic Luxury Collection Resort and Golf Course on Earth's moon within the next six months. When asked about the resort, Mr Trump told the media, Yeah, sure. We know it's an ambitious project, but the Russians have had a moon base for, like, years. And Apple have one. And the Pope has one. So I want a hotel. And a golf course. That's not a lot to ask. The idea came to me in a dream via one of my interns. And I was thinking about this great book someone once read to me. It was called Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. They had a space hotel. So how come I don't? Already, the Trump Intergalactic is proving popular with celebrities and business people on Earth who clearly have too much money, with most of its 200 sleeping pods already being reserved for next year. Unfazed by the location of the hotel, most guests have been noting that the moon base is actually the second most remote of Trump's hotel locations after Turnberry in Scotland. Not content with being a twat exclusively on Earth, the former reality TV star has his sights set on pissing off the rest of the galaxy as well. Stephen Bigges of Hydra, the fifth moon of Pluton, has this to say. Already my family are being told we need to vacate our biodome so Mr Trump can build a car park. Which is a bit mental because you don't get cars in space. The Trump Space Golf Course is set to be constructed in the coming months following some delays and disputes from Mr Trump that many of the workers are illegal aliens. Sir Ringo Starr has been in the headlines this week after slamming plans to repurpose the yellow submarine as a Trident nuclear sub. Sir Ringo, who was knighted last year for his stellar work on Thomas the Tank Engine, told the media... This is a bloody disgrace. The yellow submarine was meant to be a bit of light, childish fun about the dangers of taking too many drugs in the broom cupboard of Abbey Road, not about nuclear Armageddon. We spoke to Peter Fishin at Fast Lane about the decision to repurpose a fictional submarine from a 1966 song and later a 1968 animated film, who stated... We want the nation to enjoy the Yellow Submarine again, but this time as a first line of defence against the Koreans. 
Sir Ringo has been campaigning about removing the nuclear armaments from the yellow submarine, but has unfortunately been getting nowhere. I had to pretend to be Paul McCartney just to get a meeting with the board of directors, and when I did get in, they just wanted me to play Hey Jude. I offered them Octopus's garden, but they weren't having it. We also asked Labour about their stance on the situation, but as the nuclear weapons are in Scotland, they couldn't give a f- I'm planning a benefit concert. A concert for Bangladesh-style thing. Remember when George did it? Well, the idea is, I get some of my friends together, and we arrive at Fazlane, and sing until they remove the yellow submarine, and we can take it back to Pepperland. Sir Ringo is still waiting to be released by military police for protesting and being under the influence of Class A drugs, whilst declaring himself not only to be the King of Fazlane, but also the Island of Sodor. We'll have more of this story when it resurfaces. And lastly tonight, the Ministry of Defence has insisted they can do whatever the fuck they like after arresting a tourist accidentally loitering on their front steps. We spoke to Tom Merton, 25, from Glasgow over video link from the Vietnamese prison he's being kept in following his arrest by the MOD. I was just enjoying my £8 cup of London coffee and catching up on the latest issue of Cosmopolitan when I suddenly felt myself being arrested. I had no idea I was sat in front of the Ministry of Defence. I just saw steps and, as a Glaswegian, presumed I could just fire myself right down onto them. Somehow avoiding the huge Ministry of Defence sign, the armed guards, or their command of step back or we'll bayonet you to death, Mr Merton and his £8 cup of coffee were taken to Heathrow, tortured in airport security, refused access to duty free and sent cargo class to where he's now being kept until he promises not to just sit on any old bit of ground in London without filling out a form or winning an election. Ironically, while all this was happening and the guards were distracted by detaining Scottish tourists and insisting their bribes weren't legal tender, spies broke into the MOD and now we're at war with Korea. Good luck everyone, £8 copy on us. That means we're out of time this week. But join us again next time on the news where you aren't and disarm yourselves from rational thinking. I've been Kevin Rigmarole. And I'm still Claire Vorland. Goodbye. You have been listening to The News Where You Aren't, based on articles published by The Chatty Chimp, written by Eden Luke McIntyre, performed by Julie Duncanson, Eden Luke McIntyre, Craig Hutchison, David Murray, and Vivian Taylor. Sound engineered by David Murray. Edited by Craig Sutherland. And mixed by Ruben Burgess. A well-fired production.